Alright, so here we're going to um, do some effects or add some effects and a general sort of tidying up of your design. So um, let's have a look. It's a little bit too strongly with the background here. So click on Galaxy. Uh, this is my background, so I can change the opacity here. So let's drop that bar a little bit, possibly just to lighten it up a little bit of the background. Okay. Um, my coaster tracks. Uh, they're fine. My logo could do with a bit of a drop shadow or maybe an outer glow just to bring it off the page a little bit, maybe some bevel and embossing. So just like in Photoshop, you can right click on it, go to blending options, go to um, drop shadow, click on that one, instantly just put one in and that's enough for what I'd like. Um, now we're gonna Bevel and emboss it. If I click on that one, you can do the direction as well. Um, let's go all that way a little bit. Okay, good. So you sort of darken the underneath and highlight the top there. Um, you could add an outer glow as well if you wanted to. That's the standard one. You can change the colors in here, pick whatever you like. Okay, um, you can change the opacity, the spread, and the size of it, they will all alter the effect. Okay, let's go into my text. Here we go, right click, blending options. Now I need something to separate to bring it from the background a bit. Um, so let's put a stroke on it. Let's change the color. You can move this out of the way to see what effects it has on it. We can go with the grey, we can go dark with the black, we can go blue. Yeah, there's loads of different things that you could do, yeah. Um I'm gonna go black for now, okay? There we go. Uh again you can do another glow if you want. Okay, sometimes you can change this as well. You could go with um like a vivid light, hard light. There's lots of things to play with. So a slight glow on that. And you can also put another drop shadow on that too. Okay. And let's go to our shape here. Right click, blending options. Let's put a little stroke around the outside. Um, let's go with a pink to tie the feel. Let's go with that same one because that's one I used before to keep the color scheme similar. We go. I've got an old pink outside on the outside. Uh, a little drop shadow as well. If I click on that, I can go into more detail here. Um, so you can see it's all changing around the page. So let's go with that. Okay. There we go. So that's tidied up. It's got some options, some effects as well through blended options. Um, have a little go and a play around with your designs. Well done.